What's up YouTube, Luke the Window Cleaner, Rihanna. We are cleaning some more windows today. Surprise. So we are about to pull up to our first job. Um, got two houses today, some storefronts, pretty easy day really. So we'll start off by introducing ourselves to the customer. We'll take our booties with us, we'll go on the inside. Our screens have to be taken off from the inside of the home. Remove those screens. I will clean the screens. Rana will start on the inside. I'll water fed pull the outside of the house. And uh, we'll get paid. <coughs> Did you use your shirt to detail a window? Fix it. Yes. Ow. You know how like when you go around the latches on the window and mm -hmm. you pull Look. it up and it like squirts out? No, I know. It took my shirt and I was like. <laughs> That's what she said. Yep. I love squirt. I do. It's one of my favorite drinks, like <laughs> caffeine-free grapefruit soda. You can't put any of this in the video. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I love that soda. 
Go ahead. So we just finished that house and we finished early, so we're on our way to our second house. Same thing's gonna happen. Luke's gonna water fed pull the outside. I'm gonna clean the inside. I wish I could take you guys with me, but I cannot. Water fed is one of those things when it sucks, it really, really sucks. We were just talking about that. And when it works right, it is amazing. Um, I, I'd like to say that we've gotten some slack um, on our window cleaning method when it comes to water fed pole. A lot of the videos you guys see are first time cleans and it's not just like, oh, they had their clean windows clean like last year and now they need it cleaned again by mm -hmm. someone different. It's like they haven't had their their windows cleaned in a long time. So yeah. you have to scrub. You'd have to scrub if you're doing it by hand and you have to scrub if you're doing it by water fed pole. At least to our standards. Yes. And so the one, two, three, four isn't really, doesn't work for every scenario. Oh. Now we have some homes that yes that does work we clean them two three times a year that works but whenever you're doing a first time clean um for someone who hasn't had their windows done in years single pass agitation won't work no it's just it's not realistic it's really not and i would love to see anyone uh show me that in a work because like rihanna said that house over there i don't think it's been cleaned in they they try to maintain it themselves so it's it was bad um, and that's also why you see us use the bronze wool pad because we found that even a good uh, several passes for the agitation doesn't work with just the brush not to our standards we found that the bronze wool pad does a much more thorough job so and it's quicker yep but if you see us scrubbing windows thoroughly is because we're trying to give uh, amazing spotless results the same thing we would uh, provide traditionally Okay, we're gonna go. So we just finished the second house. Luke did not film anything because he sucks. It felt a damn thing. So now we are gonna do some pole work. It's a first time clean. We're gonna be doing team pole work. <laughs> <laughs> team pole work. <laughs> because we're just doing high up windows. So Luke will do the highest. I'll do the next one and we'll just and maybe we'll film there. <laughs> we'll I'm to... feeling like it. <laughs> this is a first time clean. We were contacted by a janitorial company that couldn't handle this. So they called in the big guns. Okay, that last house was a dirty, rotten trick. So they had grills in their windows, which, you know, whatever. You charge a little bit more to take out the grills and put them back. Someone had painted them on the windows. So when you peeled them off the window, then there was paint all underneath them. It took like so long, my fingers are like really hurting and I'm covered in paint. It was a dirty rotten trick. It was something. The homeowner didn't know. We, I didn't see it given the quote either. I mean, we discussed the grills, but Rihanna had a good point. If it was her, I think I charged some eight box a window. I would have been more like 10 or 12 for the grills. For the grills to take the grills out. And that was my mistake. I should have done that. This is why typically when we quote jobs, honestly, Rian is the quoter. She's the estimator because uh, she's better at it than I am, for sure. Um, we get a lot of questions about this black pole. Guys, as of right now, this black pole is not for sale. This was kind of a beta water fed pole for a different company. Anyways, it's been turned into a carbon fiber trant pole. Um, so I dropped a few sections and then on this section here, I just added one of the blue uh, Unger tips. It's just from those trant poles you get at a Home Depot. The reason I went with the blue one, the green one, inner, the green one, the, uh, the inner diameter on it is too small for the pole, but not the blue. So anyways, this is the best pole for, for, for trad work. I mean, it's, it's crazy how awesome this pole is. No flex. I mean, oh, virtually no flex. So anyways, let's go do this. You ready? It's always something, right? So there's this really big ledge. 
the accelerator is not doing so hot with the ledge. So I'm gonna get a ledger. So this is one of the reasons why the Unger Ninja T-Bar comes in handy. There's a huge wedge up there, and uh, to get underneath it, you can release the pivot action, and that'll allow you to clean that. Hi. So we're home now. I'm rigging up Derek's belt here. See how much we like you, Derek. So, I just figured out you can make the Unger Ninja a little bit higher. You can make it. You can make the bucket ride a little bit higher in your belt. Oh, we get a lot of questions about that. So what you do, even if you have a Polex bucket. You just, instead of flipping this on, fold it over and then zip tie it and then see how much stuff hanging down that low is going to hang up here now. So I'm just going to put that. Oh. Derek also gets the pink zip ties. Put that through there like that. Luke loves zip ties. I love zip ties. The two best things any window cleaner could carry with them while they're working, like for quick fixes, is zip ties. And what else am I going to say, Rihanna? JB Weld. JB Weld. So that's going to ride real high. Look at that. He's going to like that. Don't break that one. Yeah, let's show why we had to do this. So, 
Derek, our new employee. Ugh. Uh. This is just a problem with Polax or really any of these hip buckets. They put these cheap eyelets in them. They usually bust within the first couple of months of using them. I love the Polax bucket. You know what bucket doesn't do that? It's the Mormon hip bucket. It's going strong. I like the Mormon hip bucket. I do too. I've got a Mormon hip bucket that I don't ever wear. Yeah, I don't. I don't wear it. Maybe I should start wearing it. That might be too high for him. We'll see. You think this is too high? Maybe. Especially with the 22. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it rides just fine. And if it doesn't. Then we'll change it. Oh, what's he got here? Oh, towel viper. Okay, I'm done with this video, by the way. I turned this on so it could be done. Oh, okay. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can be rich. Right, Rihanna? Whatever.